Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in uh, Bush Trip Interstate 5 uh, by uh, Perfect Flight, and we are currently on part three, uh, starting to get close to finishing this thing up. Uh, so, uh, part three is Ashland Parker, Oregon, down to Brownfield, down in uh, Southern California. And today's flight is leg fly, leg fly, leg five. Uh, it's uh, Mendota uh, Airport M90 to Elk Hills Button Willow uh, L62, and it's going to be about 97 nautical miles. And I believe there's just going to be a lot of just farmland that we're going to be traveling over. Uh, I think the next leg after this, we start getting back into the the southern hills down there and the southern mountains down there in uh, California. But today we are traveling uh, through the farmlands. So once I'm over and in the cockpit and ready to fly, uh, I will uh, catch back up with you all. All right, about ready to take off here. Uh, we are facing north as they always start us off. And we are going to be circling back around to pick up our flight path and the first thing that she's going to start talking about is uh cantu creek uh we'll fly south to the mountain ranges and fly over cantu creek in fresno county uh which is uh, down in the san joaquin valley so she will be starting the narration right off the bat uh once we get going uh, you can read it and follow along. I'm going to minimize this so that I can uh, uh, see where I am flying as we take off. And, uh, yeah, so once we get going, uh, I'll uh, catch back up with you here in just a second. All right. I... Uh, not letting the run up so we don't have to look at that uh, goofy ass uh, message telling me that uh, my brake was on. All right, let's start swinging around. Fly south to the mountain ranges and fly over Cantua Creek in Fresno County. The small town is situated in the San Joaquin Valley with a predominantly an agricultural community with being the main source of income its residents. The town is known for its almond and pistachio orchards, as well as its vineyards. Almonds and pistachios sound pretty good, don't they? All right, so let's, uh, we've got this swung around. Let's get our autopilot going. And we're going to be flying at... Uh, 2,000 foot elevation. Uh, again, as I mentioned, tomorrow we'll be able to start uh, uh, getting up into some higher elevations. But today, 2,000 foot elevation. And let's get outside the uh, cab here. And there was the narration that she was just talking about. So we are going to be looking for this right here. So once... Uh, once we get down there, I'll uh, point that out. Enjoy the flight.
Okay, we should be getting close to this uh, the, uh, Cantu Creek. Uh, this, uh, if you look at this right here, that should be that. Uh, here is the uh, buildings that we're about ready to go over. And I suspect that she should be narrating here pretty quick. So let's uh, pull up. Continuing south, you can regain visual contact with L5 and fly over Harris Ranch Airport in Fresno County. The airport is not open to the public and requires prior permission to use the facility. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Private airport. Uh, okay, so once we get to uh, this image, I'll uh, let you know where we're at. Okay, we are almost to this spot right here. Uh, as she said, we regain uh, visual with I-5. This is the interchange that we see here. Uh, here's that big field, I believe, right there. And there is that uh, airport that she was talking about, the Harris Ranch, and the uh, airport that's not uh, open to the public. Our next destination will be in the vicinity of Kettleman City. It is situated in the western part of Kings County and is known for its agriculture and oil industries. Kettleman City is also home to the largest hazardous waste landfill in the western United States. This landfill has been a source of controversy and concern for the town's residents who fear that it may be causing health problems and environmental damage. Well, that's not good. I didn't realize that that's where the uh, uh, largest uh, hazardous waste fill was in western United States. I know up in uh, Washington you've got Hanford, and there are quite a few places. So I don't think it's unique to just Kettleman. So, but we'll uh, take uh, we'll look for it as we get down there. Here is the uh, image right here. Here's that building. It's that little uh, uh, 
patch of trees and there's the building right there and so you're starting to fly over this section right here continue straight for about 27 miles to the lost hills airport area there are no intermediate reporting points despite its small size the town is an important hub for agriculture and transportation the area is known for its almond pistachio and grape crops, which are major contributors to the state's economy. So, 27 miles. So we've got a little bit of a flight. So this one's going to be really uh, a bit of a, a kickback and enjoy. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I wish this was a little more interesting, but this part of California is just pretty much all agriculture. So I'll see you when we get down to this uh area right here. Spencer City is about nine miles further on. Well, that's all the narration she has there. So I think this uh, Lost Hills was just below us there. I never really did, was able to spot it. And Spencer City is nine miles further. So that's what we're going to do. And then from there, we will be starting to prepare for our uh, uh, Elk Hills Button Willow Airport. So, we should be able to spot the Spencer Hills one, though. Almost to the Spencer City. Uh, this is that a little area right there. That's this area right there. You can see the uh, little bit of the lake. That's that lake. It's right there. So, uh, so yep, that's uh, Spencer City, and she should be starting to talk about uh, our airport that we're going to be flying into. Elk Hills, Button Willow Airport. The airport has a single runway measuring 3,259 feet in length. The airport is primarily used for recreational and private aviation purposes. Despite its small size, Elk Hills, Button Willow Airport provides various services to its users. The airport has a pilot's lounge restroom facilities and a small parking area for aircraft. Additionally, there are hangars available for rent for those who wish to store their aircraft on site. 
So, here's a picture of the airport. I'm not sure exactly where that pilot's lounge is. Maybe it's out behind one of these bushes uh, just off, so I don't know. Uh, but we're going to be getting inside here pretty quick and uh, getting ready to land. And so uh, let's uh, minimize this, enjoy the last little bit. And as we get a little bit closer, we'll uh, hop inside the cabin. Okay, I think it's about time to uh, go inside the cabin, so let's hop in there and let's see if we can kind of spot this airport. I think that's it right there, I'm not sure, but uh, let's uh, start slowing this thing down and let's uh, turn our autopilots off and let's uh, see if we can spot that airport. flying right straight towards it and it's alongside that canal the flap down so we can start getting ready we're only about uh, three miles from the airport itself I think that's it right right there kind of uh, along the edge of that canal yeah I see it it's that's it right there all right so let's see if I can uh, get another flap down or slowing this thing down a little bit get lined up Yeah, that was a bit of a boring bit of uh, leg there. Uh, just all agriculture. There wasn't too many points of interest in there. As you can see, as we're starting to look kind of on towards the south, you'll see some hills and mountains and stuff down that direction. That's what we're going to be flying into uh, the next couple of days, I believe, or next couple of legs. All right, I better uh, quit talking and start focusing on landing. down uh, and that looks like our parking area right over here let's see if we can get parked in there all right I think uh, I think we've done it and there we go. <clears throat> Leg completed. Took us 38 minutes. Well, again, as I was saying, it was, probably wasn't the most exciting leg on this trip. Uh, and they didn't have that many uh, points of interest, which was kind of surprising. So hopefully uh, you enjoyed the flight. <clears throat> A lot of music in it. Uh, all right. Well, if you did enjoy it, please hit that thumbs up. It really does help out the video. And uh, please subscribe. That really will help the channel out. Ring that bell. It will always let you know when I am uploading uh, new videos, and I'm doing that on a weekly basis. All right, uh, all you uh, sim pilots out there, uh, keep those smooth landings coming. And uh, with that, 
Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.